November 2021 saw a tragic collapse of a 21-story building in Ikoi, Lagos State, Nigeria. An incident described as one of the most tragic of all cases that left many in awe. A few months after, another seven-story building collapse was recorded in Banana Island in the same Ikoi. Just a few weeks ago, Enugu, Anambra and Abuja also experienced a similar fate. The Building Collapse Prevention Guild once reported that Lagos State, a high collapse rate with over 326 buildings caving in the last 49 years, which represented 59.05 of the total of 553 recorded cases in the country during this period. Specifically, between 1974 and April 13, 2023. Aside the generally known causes of building collapse such as natural hazards, material fatigue, aging, terrorist attacks and design flaws, human error in construction has become a prominent factor in this problem as well. For Professor Johanna Izam, the president of the Nigerian Institute of Building, professionalism is key and must be enforced by the relevant agencies. I think the principal arena of collapse is the building site. And we think that the events that happen on a building construction site uh, needs enhanced regulation, needs enhanced monitoring. We need laws in this country that will be enforceable we need also to be more serious about professionalization of the building industry. In other words, I'm talking here about the activities of quacks in the industry. Once you continue to have um, an all commerce affair in the industry where everybody thinks it's a builder, uh, definitely uh, we'll continue to have this problem. Building is a technology, you need special training and you need regulatory frameworks to ensure that in this country, people who are saddled with the job of constructing our buildings are people who are well trained and are certified by law to carry out this function. Town planner Ashiru Olubenga, National Secretary NITP, says lack of professional regulation is another area that needs to be addressed. The first angle that I look at the issue of building collapse is that our professionals um, engage in the construction of building. If no, why? If yes, now, do they go through proper supervision from the agencies that are required to supervise them? Because they are professional doesn't mean that they don't need adequate supervision. And that's why we like to commend the Lagos Ogun, and some other states state that are already having this um, building control mechanism. So, whether we like it or not, 90% of buildings supply into the building market are through private sectors. Are they affordable? For it to be affordable, they contact the layman, the babaliki, the babatai staff on the road to do the construction for them. And professionalism is not taken into consideration. And that could be a factor responsible for the building collapse. Town planner Idris Alako, former Lagos State Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development, noted that building within the noted that building within the stipulations of the law is one of the ways to avert cases of building collapse. He urged everyone involved to be sincere and follow the right policy. The best way to address is to to stick to the laws, the rules, and do this by the letters, by the laws. There are regulations, we have enough regulations and policies to guide us in this space. And let's be sincere with ourselves. Let's build right, build within the uh, ambit of the law. That's all we are saying. With that, uh, we'll be able to minimize to a very large extent the incidence of building collapse if we are ready to build right. You don't cut corners. You get your you document, get your documents in place before 
before you start construction, you get the relevant authorization from the relevant agencies. You allow government agencies to supervise your construction uh, activities all through the construction years. What has become of the building state in the country? This question has been on the lips of Nigerians over the last four decades. Indeed, this array of incidents does present an opportunity for the government to improve its response to such disasters, deal with the responsible parties and prevent a reoccurrence.